Looking at what we can learn from a girl today. Wisdom over money and women. Wisdom before money and women. Yo, this morning, God, literally as soon as I woke up, it just, the first thought of my mind was wisdom over money. As soon as I woke up, God put that in my head. And I was like, yo, like, this means something. Because you know why? Before in my life, when I had money and I had women, I didn't have the wisdom to know what to do with it. You know what wisdom is? It's experience, it's good judgment, and it's being smart and knowledgeable, you know? I was knowledgeable and smart and had experience, but I didn't have good judgment. It's like, I know spending money on that girl is a bad thing, but I do it anyways. I know going to that party and drinking and smoking is a bad thing, but I do it anyways. That means I didn't have good judgment, but I knew, you know? Wisdom is good judgment. You can know something's bad for you and still do it and still partake in it, you know? But where this comes into with women and money, it's like so many countless times in my life. I told this story so many times. It's like I got money and I attracted a, a beautiful woman in my life, but I didn't have the wisdom. So what did I do? I spent all my money on that girl and it ended up backfiring on me. Ended up, it ended up putting me at a deficit, you know? And that's why Solomon with God, he asked him, he said, yo, God, please give me wisdom. And then he's like, all right, now I can give you riches because you know what to do with it now. A lot of people were, were working so hard and were trying to obtain riches and women. But yo, you don't even know what to do with it. You don't even know how to handle that shit. Wisdom, with, if you don't have wisdom with women, you're going to think every girl that approaches you when you're successful likes you. And that is such a, I seen that yesterday. You're going to use your material possessions to attract every woman. And you're not going to have the wisdom to know she don't really like you. You're going to just be caught up in, oh, she's now around me, you know? Same with money. If you don't have the wisdom with your money, you're just going to start spending on everything you can and wasting it. I did that so many times. I've gotten so many big paychecks. And I literally was like, I paid all my bills and stuff. But instead of just like saying, all right, let me hold on to this and maybe try to invest it in something more important. I literally went to like, one of the most fabulous restaurants in Beverly Hills and spent money and it's like, yo, what are you investing in? Why should, why should I invest in a restaurant in Beverly Hills when I should be investing in myself, you know? Why should you invest money in that woman when you need to be investing in yourself? Money for a man, a young man, is meant to take care of himself and his responsibilities. That's what you need to do right now. And whatever your responsibilities are, it may vary, but money is not meant for a young man to spend on a woman to have sex with her. Money is not meant to go and dine at the most fabulous restaurants whenever you please. It's meant to take care of yourself and your responsibilities. And then after you've taken care of that and grown your money smart, then you can indulge in those luxuries. But like everybody wants to do it so quick before like it's time. And like you need the wisdom first. Without the wisdom, the money means nothing. Damn, so many distractions today. Fuck. Without the wisdom, money means nothing at all. And that is so true, you know? Why do you think Solomon asked God for wisdom? And he got it, and then he said, you know what, I'm gonna give you riches too. Because he knows any fool can have money. Money does not guarantee you, money does not guarantee that you will not be in poverty. A lot of people don't realize that. I've had so much money in my life, and you probably know other people who have had so much money in their life, but they still end up in poverty. Lottery winners, people and friends, guess why? They don't have wisdom. They didn't know what to do with it. Money does not guarantee you won't be in poverty. Wisdom does. Money does not guarantee that that beautiful girl actually likes you. Wisdom will determine that. Wisdom will give you the knowledge to know if she likes you or not. But that comes from experience, loss, and failure. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of reasons why a lot of young men don't have wisdom is because we're scared to go out in the world and fail. That's one thing I was never scared to do. I have always taken those risks in my life. And no matter what, when everybody told me that was a dumb idea, when everybody told me don't do that, it's not safe, I just did it and got bravery and got wisdom from it. So many failures have led me and shown me to say, all right, this is something I shouldn't do. I know if I do it this way, it's not gonna work. I know if I do it this way, it's going to work. You need wisdom in your life, guys. Wisdom is the cornerstone, not money, not freaking women, wisdom 
and God literally sent that to my brain this morning. And as soon as he did that, I prayed to him for wisdom and I believe he has bestowed it upon me. And now I'm fully comfortable because before that I had money and it was like, I had money and women, but I was like, yo, I still don't feel like comfortable, secure and safe. Do you know why? Because just because you have money and women doesn't mean you know what to do with it. I needed the wisdom and I finally understood that. And now I'm grateful that God has given it to me. The wisdom has truly allowed me to like, uh, know how to spend my money, know how to handle these women. And now I have like a sense of peace and calmness in me, you know? But that came from a lot of failures. A lot of times I had to go broke from spending money on women. A lot of times I had to go broke from spending my money on the wrong things to fully be able to see this, you know? But a lot of men are scared to put themselves out there. They're scared to jump off the edge. A man needs bravery. A man needs to go out and do something that is scary. He needs to go out and get courage. But all that comes when you freaking just put yourself out there. It's like your mom telling you, don't ride your bike without your helmet. And then you do it anyways. You need to, you need to do those types of moments as a man. Because if you don't, you're going to be soft. And you're never going to achieve and be something important, you know? But I get that. I got that from Andrew Tate. That's not my philosophy. I didn't come up with that. I got the, the thing of wisdom. Tate, and like being, a, wisdom allows you to be a good influence on the world, you know? That's why I listen to older people who have stuff, because truth be told, they didn't just get that shit like, like that, like this. They went through so much wisdom to understand how to deal with that shit and how to actually like handle it. That's why it's good to have older people in your life who have earned the shit they got. Because they'll give you the wisdom to know, all right, what to look out for, what not to do. How is this woman going to treat me? I have so many millionaire friends who weren't anything when they were my age. And now they have money. And it's like women just constantly try to take money from them. People just constantly try to take money from them. But that comes because they don't have the wisdom. They didn't have the experience. They were stuck every day sitting in a cubicle, slaving their asses off to get money. And now that they got it, they missed out on this whole life, you know? I'd rather have a million dollars in wisdom than five million dollars in no wisdom. Because that five million is going to turn into zero. That one million can turn into ten. That is what wisdom can do for you. And a lot of people don't think of it like that. Wisdom over money. Wisdom over women. Because if I have wisdom, I know what women actually likes me and what doesn't. I'd rather have a woman like me for my energy or my personality versus freaking my material possessions or how I look. That's something that nobody can take from me, you know? It's something that's specifically unique to me. You need to, women need to like you for something that's unique about you. Because if it's just material possessions, she'll like the next guy with a material possession, you know? She'll like the next guy with a Lamborghini or Drake concert tickets, you know? That's why everything is so important and wisdom needs to be your cornerstone. If you don't have the knowledge to know what to do with this shit, things are going to backfire in your life. Women are gonna take advantage of you. Money's gonna leave your pocket. Friends are gonna act like they're your friends, but really they're just taking money from you. People are gonna disrespect you. You're not gonna know who's real and who's not. Wisdom brings all of that. So pray to God for wisdom, not money. Bang.